because my name is kind of difficult to pronounce, people call me Professor X because I was a professor at Princeton. Yeah. Uh, we are coming from a company called AutoX. Before we talk about our company, let me talk about something else first. Uh, because uh, we are sitting here observing a significant destruction in the past few decades, I'm going to talk about many aspects of the destruction. For one thing, it's about transportation, second thing is about retail, and third is about AI. Transportation, as we know, in the past uh, a few hundred years, we have gone from a uh, horse-drawn carriage to bicycle to cars, and we have also developed our highways to drive our cars to speed up our transportation. Life is getting better with the, uh, with the car, right? At least we have AC. Uh, but for retails, it's also in the past uh, a few thousand years, I mean, since, since the very beginning of human society, we have evolution from like everyone going to the same place, start trading goods for goods, and then we invent money, and then uh, things get better, like we have counter shopping, we have evolved into supermarket, then we evolved into like Costco, like re retail warehouse, so they can buy a lot of stuff conveniently, also partially thanks to the highway, and everyone have a car or can go to drive to the warehouse. And then in recent years, we have online shopping, as well as like mobile shopping. For example, these days you can order pizza from your phone. That's also a significant evolution of retail. And uh, as we all know here in Silicon Valley, that there's also a huge evolution for AI as well. For example, like in computer in ancient time, we have Shangpang from China, and then we invent digital computer, and the computer is getting more and more powerful and smaller and cheaper as well. We also have a lot of evolution of algorithm, like chess playing, online answering, like, like AI playing, playing Jeopardy games, like developing all kinds of robotics. And we have computer vision st starting from the very beginning, like the MIT Broad War, recognizing a few bots at MIT, uh, to the level that you can rec reconstruct cities, recognize faces, as well as you can understand what's going on in the environment. And in the past few years, we have witnessed this different revolution. We have AlphaGo playing, uh, uh, playing uh, a goal that much better than any existing human being in the world. And we have natural language processing that we can translate language from one to another with different link. And we have object recognition that recognize object at very high resolution. And it's exciting time because we see a lot of evolution from in a different aspect of the society. But until, this, uh, until last year, all these are kind of like separate, right? We have the transportation evolution, we have evolution of retails, we have evolution of AI. But in 2018, something very interesting happened because these three different threats can't intersect each other. What does it mean? Is that we nowadays we can use AI to drive a car and use the car to do transportation so that we can do delivery to, uh, to evolve our retail into the next stage. Uh, that's why in 2018 is an exciting year because it's the first year in human history that we have autonomous delivery with self-driving cars. That's where we are coming from. AutoX is a self-driving car company, a full-stack technology company, developing a self-driving stack, but we particularly focus on uh, food and grocery delivery. So uh, what, what, what we are providing is a service that you can order things online, and then uh, you can, your stuff will be delivered by a self-driving car. And not only you can pick up your stuff, like if, for example, you order a burger, while you're picking up the burger, you can also buy some Coke right next to the burger as well uh, to have more add-on sales. So here is a video of this uh, The most important moments in our lives are the ones that we spend with our loved ones. Choosing in chores, responsibilities, and our work has always been the hardest part, but it's about to get a lot easier. Auto X is unveiling a revolutionary way to deliver groceries to your home on demand, launching the world's first self-driving car delivery service. Get inspired by our vehicle's mobile shop to try new items. Enjoy farm fresh produce anytime, anywhere.
by temperature control delivery. With its high resolution sensing technology, AutoLexus AI enables self driving cars to navigate much more safely than ever to ensure your items will always reach you securely and on time. So you can spend more quality time with the people you love. And never miss another goal. This is AutoX, crossing off your lists autonomously. San Jose, then you, you are more than welcome to install the AutoX app from the App Store, and then you can use it uh, for doing real delivery. And this morning, I actually just come back from Las Vegas because we're in Exceeds, we're also providing similar kinds of demo. So our right. AutoX is a, a so level four a full autonomy self-driving car company. What we're doing today is that we use our fleet of self-driving cars to deliver burgers for attendees at CES. If somebody wants to get a burger, um, they can get a food ticket at our booth, and our cars will start from here. It will go autonomously out of the parking lot, go to um, the, the restaurant. The restaurant staff will put in the burger in the back trunk, and the car will drive autonomously back. Uh, when it sees the, uh, the people who are waiting for the food, it will pop up the trunk um, and let them take it by themselves. Yeah, and we believe that this is really the future for retail, uh, for shopping experience. Not only it's going to revolutionize uh, the, the way how we shop, but also provide a lot of benefit for both the consumer and retailer. For consumer, for example, it's going to save you a lot of time running to the grocery every week, basically doing the same thing, so that you can spend more time with, with some more important stuff, like with someone you love, or some interesting work that you have been doing. And you can give you anything, anyone, uh, anywhere. Uh, it also, because it's a computer, it's not a human being, it has the benefit of being lower cost as well as absolutely on time and respect your privacy. Like midnight, when you're hungry, you want to order pizza, you don't want to have a random stranger come to stop knocking at your uh, house to give you a pizza. That's not very safe. But with a computer, you know that the, this self-driving car computer can only do self-driving. It's not going to do anything harm to you. So it's going to be very, it's also have going to be have an improvement of the shopping experience. But on the retailer side, it's going to provide us a fundamental uh, rev uh, a revolution in terms of the retail. Right, for example, here we're quoting some number from uh, Morgan Stanley Research. Uh, they, uh, the research study so that if we can provide very affordable delivery, the affordable delivery will be able to significantly increase the market size for car the f current food delivery. Like for example, the current food delivery market in US is about $30 billion. But if we can provide very low cost delivery service, then suddenly it's very likely that we can increase the market size dramatically to be about $220 billion. So this is going to be a huge thing uh, for the whole industry. And also, it's not only that, not only the market size is bigger, it's going to fundamentally change the retail store. Like for example, the uh, shopping mall these days, uh, it's going to becoming more an uh, experience center that you can experience the, uh, the product instead of going there to buy the product. And it's going to also move the supermarket uh, from, the, uh, from the business center into a like, like warehouse in the suburban area. It's going to change the how we do business today. And it's also going to encourage uh, delivery only local business. When you run a restaurant next time, you don't have to have a huge sitting area, but instead you could just have a short run uh, to selling stuff. And then if the delivery is low cost enough, everyone using frequently enough, then you can really support your business by doing that. But all of this is not possible with, uh, without safety, right? When the car is driving on the street, it has to be very safe. Uh, so I'm going to quickly go through some, some part. Uh, like for example, top of our safety report, if you have more interest in the detail, you can go to that. Um, but safety are very crucial, right? For example, this is uh, from NBC News, that while the journalist sitting in our car, we witness where our car almost hit a car running a red light. 
and but our car didn't run into red light because it didn't hit the car is simply because our technology is fast detection than human being. So here is a sound overview of technology with fusion camera, lidar, sensor all together. Uh, we build our HD maps like all the all of the whole space, uh, very detailed map that you can know every single detail on the street before you even driving there. Uh, we also have a high resolution sensing so that we can recognize small object, each pedestrian, each cars very well. Uh, we have our sensor fusion technology so that here is a San Jose airport while driving the car driving there. We can recognize every single object in a great detail. That's how we keep you safe. And that's it. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs>